What's going on, everybody? Lockout Man back again with another MTC call for you. Welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show, the show that does it all for you. I really do appreciate you guys listening and watching. In this episode of the MTC call, we call CRST. And if you guys know what CRST is all about, they have a dedicated, a Walmart dedicated that my man King, I can't pronounce the rest of your name, bro, so it's just going to be King, uh, suggested for us. So shout out to King, and thank you very much, King, for the coffee to uh, make the call. Um, we got on the phone, and we got a hold of a, a hold of a recruiter from CRST to talk to them about the Walmart dedicated account out of California. Now, there's a couple of points to this particular call, uh, couple, uh, some of which it is $325 a day. It's a flat rate. Uh, you do, it's not a day cab. You do get a sleeper. You do get to take the truck home if you live in the area, but they do hire out of the California area. So if you live in Ohio, if you live in Michigan, if you live in Boston, you can still head down the way, uh, down to California and run the Walmart dedicated account for $325 a week. Um, that would be about 17, 1600, uh, 1600 a week. Uh, my tax bracket is about 300 so that'll be about $1,300 a week. Can you guys handle that? Can you handle $1,300 a week? I can. I mean, plus uh, another, another uh, point that was made, if you have six months of experience, you can jump on this account. Now, they, if it's time for your home time, so let's say if you stay out for uh, a couple of weeks to a month, they will fly you home. You do your home time for however long you want, and then they'll fly you back to California to go ahead and get back to work. Is that awesome? I don't know, but let's find out more in this call. All you have to do is stay. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. How's it going? Good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my name's uh, Sean. I'm a six year. Uh, yeah, what can you do for you, Sean? Yeah, I'm a six year truck driver, and I'm just calling to get a little bit more information about. Uh, hold mm -hmm. on, real quick. I, I've written it down. Give me a second. Uh, okay. Hold on. All right. Uh, I'm just calling to get a little bit more information, if you if you could, about the dedicated mm -hmm. account that you guys have for Walmart in California that pays a flat rate. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Let me get you over. So you've called the owner operator hotline. Let me get you over to my dedicated team, Sean. Okay. And they can tell you all about that. Hold awesome. on one quick second. I got to pull up their extension here. And you're living in California, right? Uh, I will be moving to California. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So you have here. to. So you 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 have to stay. You have to stay in California in order to run this uh, particular account. You know, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't hire for that account, so that's a good question. Ask them that. I've got their extension here. I'm going to transfer you right to dedicated, okay? Tenfo. Thank you. Uh, yes, it is a great day. Uh, it's always a good day when you wake up above ground. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what, that's what, what an OG once told me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up, man. My name's, uh, my name's Sean. I'm a, I'm a six-year truck driver, and, uh, I'm also I'm also oh, in a oh, thank you. I'm also in a in a in a Facebook group and we was you know, we was in there talking about 
uh, about CRST. In particular, uh, I want to get some information. I'm also going to take some voice notes so I can take back with me to them. But uh, I want to get some information about the dedicated account or the dedicated Walmart account in California that play that pays a flat rate. Can you give me a? Can you give me some information about that? It's uh, three hundred dollars a day. Mm -hmm. uh, you're running obviously Walmart freight back back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, all so our, is is this is this store to store or? Uh, 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 let, let, my my fault. I, I just had a brain freeze. Uh, is this from uh, is this from the the um, the uh, from the main place to the stores or from uh, uh, place to place? I I forgot what 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 it's actually called. Distribution center. That's it. <laughs> yeah, we're running uh, from the distribution centers to to the walmart stores okay okay um is is these dropping hooks or live unloads what what, what are they live live, unlo live unloads okay so they'll, be, they'll be loading right off once you get there all right so you say it on. okay so you say this is uh three hundred dollars a day uh, uh this one is yep uh is there any other uh Actually, pay 325 oh 325. 325 okay okay is there any other payments yeah. to the driver like stop pay uh um uh cpm or something like that or is it just 325 bam it's 325 per day uh, and they're gonna keep you busy uh, okay how many how how many uh is how many stops in a day? Let's see here. Actually doesn't confirm. It states that you just you run until your hours expire. Oh, okay, okay. So there's so there's a chance that there's I'll always... Huh? Go ahead, brother. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. My fault. No, not at all. You're fine. Oh, okay. We're 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 we're, 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 we're talking. We're good. Oh, okay. Um, I was stop. So you say until the hours were run out. So there's, so there's a chance that I might be going, uh, back and forth to the distribution center, to additional stores, in that particular day. Well, what it is is you're going to be running from like that northern area. You got to remember that northern part of it. Mm -hmm. Really, almost touched about three to four different states. You know what uh, I mean? Okay. Um, so okay. you may run out. You may run to, uh, to to California somewhere in California. You might run to Southern Oregon. You might run over to uh, Western Utah. Oh. You might touch Idaho. You okay. might touch Northern Arizona. You know what I mean? So okay. uh, with Nevada being there over in Reno, so uh, it's not like you're just running from the distribution store to the to the Sacramento store. Right. Uh, it's it's kind of like that. It's that local regional uh, area in that, that that northern area. Okay. Now, now, being that this is uh, dedicated, is this like uh, a day cab, or would I be in a, or would I get a sleeper truck? Yeah, you get a sleeper. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's, it's a, a weekly position, so uh, we got to make sure that you take care of uh, when you're out there on the road. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Will I be able to take the, well, let me ask you this question. I guess this is the million dollar question right here because that's what I asked the lady before she transferred me to you. Um, do you have to live in California to run this account? Not at this time. It is open um, to in our hiring. Where are you from? I'm, I'm from Ohio, but I mean, I'm, I'm open to move if, if that's the case. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if to, to start, no, you would be able to, uh, if you decided that you wanted to, to make that transition, uh, then, then yes. Uh, if you're coming uh, out in these type of situations, which I've actually have a, excuse me, a Walmart account in uh, McCarran, Nevada, Reno area. Okay. Uh, that, that's similar out of that area. Uh, and I've actually hired and, and put a few drivers on those positions. 
uh, and, and they like them. But this is they stay out for the minimum of three weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have I have one that hasn't been he hasn't been home in two months. He just stays in the truck. He uh, takes care of his business. He right, uh, right. showers. Take, right. Has, he has he has his pattern. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, but then I'll have one that and he doesn't go home on three weeks. He goes home at four. So he essentially stays out a month. We fly him home. Oh, okay. To North Carolina. Okay. So you know I mean? so, so so being that people so you you open the people uh, you open to hire people from you know, from all the 48 to run uh, that Walmart dedicated in, in either California or Nevada. Correct. And, and you, and instead of us driving home, you'll actually, you'll actually fly us home? We'll fly you home after that, that, um, that, that excuse me, three to, three or four week minimum. Yep. Without question. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, you mind if I you, you, you mind if I ask you a couple of more questions? Go ahead, Dad. All right. Um so for so for coming in for orientation, uh would I be coming in orientation sorely for the Walmart dedicated or would I be coming in orientation for whatever you guys have available? No, you would come in if, if that's what we're signing up for. That's what we're shooting for. Okay, so that's what you're coming in for. Uh, it would be uh, a, a drive van dedicated Walmart account on mm-hmm. the dedicated West team. You you, you would be running expedited okay. uh, team. Okay. Um, you you're specifically dedicated. Okay. Okay. Uh, any uh, any sign on bonuses for this particular account? Take a look at that. I do not have a sign-on bonus for this but, uh, currently. Mm-hmm. Uh, the three twenty-five a day puts you at sixteen twenty-five per week mm. before taxes, which is, which is beautiful. All right. Well, sixteen twenty-five. My tax bracket is about three hundred, so I'm looking at about uh, thirteen seventy-five take-home. That's not bad. I mean, oh, not a week. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not that's, week, that's, not, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not, is there is is there know. is there uh, is there uh, age? Uh, well, not an age, but uh, is there uh, an experience requirement for this? Uh, can a, can a new can a student uh, out of out of school uh, jump onto this uh, jump onto this, or do you guys need like you know maybe one or two years experience? Uh, with this, uh, it is three to six months. Okay. Uh, that provides an opportunity to get on this dedi- this great dedicated uh, West uh, position. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, what about um, what what about pre-employment uh, thing? You know, COVID is going on right now. Well, we're we're coming up out of it. You know, that's if the people took the yeah. vaccine or whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, what uh, what about um, what about uh, pre-employment? Uh, uh, drug screening. You would have a pre-appointment. You would have a pre-appointment drug screening physical once you come to onboarding. We would take care of that first step. Okay. Would I would I do it here in my home state, or would I do it there when I get there? You would do it here and uh, at the onboarding okay. class that we got you into here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Okay. Hotel. Uh, drive up. We, we, we station to get here. We pay for your lodging while you're here. And then you would get on a truck after that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, is there any specific fuel locations you 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 guys want us to go to? You know, some places only want us to go to like Pilots, Flying J's, yeah, Loves. Operation Operations would have that conversation with you as far as the you know the specifics, uh, but like the Loves, Flying J's is. Uh, they would. They do have. We do have fuel routes. Um, mm-hmm. I was a driver manager, as I stated, for several years mm-hmm. here with CRSTs. Uh, of course, there's fuel routes that you'll follow, and uh, your card will be active. You, once you pull up to that, you won't even have to call in. You just pull up to it, uh, and you're gone. You ain't got to do nothing else. Okay. What, ab- what about holiday pay? Do you, do you guys do holiday pays if we work on a holiday, drive on a holiday? No, there, the, there isn't no particular holiday pay 
uh, for uh, for the drivers, unfortunately. All right. What uh, now? As far as equipment goes, what uh, what equipment will be in? Cascadia, this newer Cascadia, 1920s. Oh, hey. Automatic. I, you know, I should rephrase that question. What equipment I will be in? Would I be in the 18 or, a, you know, a 19? Because I, I, I got with one. Uh, you know, I, you know, I only drove for a few companies in my in, in my trucking career, but the one company I drove for. You know, they they said that, you know, we, you know, at that time it was like 20, uh, it was like 20 or 19 and 20 at that time. But they put me in the 2016 piece of garbage, bro. <laughs> I mean, the truck broke down the first night that I got it. That's that's how bad it was. So I said in my next, you know, in my line of questioning, I would just ask. Which truck or which year model truck will I get into? Well, I don't have that access. Um, I know there's 18, 19s, and 20s out there. Okay. Currently, uh, if, if you went to an old one, I could I would assure you it's probably temporary okay. uh, because of whatever. You know what I mean? That would be an explanation that your driver manager would then say, hey, you know, we are behind two weeks on this. 2019 or 2020 and they are waiting for a part over in Europe mm -hmm. um, let's get the truck one two three four five six seven for now and then I'll route you back through to get you know your truck once it's done or whatever it may be but okay uh, those are conversations you sound like you have the history to, to have those good conversations with the driver yes manager. yes yes you know what I mean? definitely so I, I, you know you, you just gotta, re gotta rely on you gotta rely on your hustle at some point just mm -hmm. to you know not you know follow follow what the the, the goal is, um, but at the end of the day, stand up for what's right, and if you smell smoke, you better say something. Honest. I got you. I got you, and I, I appreciate your honesty, bro. Um, what what about driver cams? Is is there driver cams in the truck? Yes, yes there is. Okay. Um, now, as far as the truck itself, uh, you know, I talked to a few uh, CRST drivers, and I, I think, are, are you guys all fully automatics, or do you guys still have some manuals in the fleet? For the most part, yes. Um, he is, uh, 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 or we are majority uh, all automatics. Okay. So uh, I w that's what I would expect. Okay, okay. Um, and being that this is uh, this is dedicated, would I be forced to do? anything else outside of that dedicated Walmart lane? No, no that, is, that, is, that is what you are hired for. If you were to switch accounts or do anything like that, we would have to go through a process to get you off that dedicated account onto whatever uh, expedited. Um, mm -hmm. Heck, if you wanted to go back to the Ohio area and get on a solo regional or something mm -hmm. you know you've already earned those stripes in with the company you can you can make those moves no different than i did from a driver manager to a recruiter okay that's what's up um i guess uh my last couple of questions is do you guys uh because you know I, I talk to a lot of uh potential drivers but they got criminal backgrounds so do you guys uh do you guys have a policy for felons do you give them a chance nope. I'm I've had felons on my on my fleet, brother. Every application is thank you. Every application is reviewed uh, individually. So uh, that is, is is I get it. I understand, um, but I, I believe in second chances, and I've always have just coming from where I come from. But uh, and 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 that case by case is huge um, because I've seen some folks who <laughs> who didn't think they had a chance, and they did. You know what I mean? So it's just all about what you've been doing, consistency, um, you know, having that job. And if you, you know, got on papers and or got out, you know, two, three years ago and you ain't did nothing, you know what I mean? You ain't worked or nothing. You just, <laughs> you know, things don't start adding up at that point. And that's just, you got to get that job and you got to find a consistency. But you said you got some history. You got, you know, some, some, uh, driving under your belt I and mean, those are great things that'll go for you if that's what you're worried about okay that's what's up 
All right. Well, man, thank you very much for your time, man. I I, I really do appreciate it. Um, what, during the hiring process, I know you guys look at a lot of things. You look at the you look at the drivers. Uh, background you look at the drivers mvr uh dac report psp what can get a potential driver disqualified from coming on with uh with the walmart dedicated account your, your driving record speeding reckless driving duis things like that can if you've had some you know numbers numbers it all comes down to numbers when how long all those, all those come into effect. Okay. So you kind of have to lay it down on the application for what it is. The truth will get set you free. <laughs> My man said the truth will set you free. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, man. Well, uh, thank you very much, man. I will definitely take this information back uh, with me to my Facebook group and uh, – and post it to them and let them know that I that I uh, that I top I mean that I talk with you, and uh, I, I I very much appreciate your candor and your time, man. Stay safe. God bless. All right. Thank you. Goodbye.